Good morning. Okay, we're leaving the fire tower and we're probably maybe three quarters of a mile into the hike. We're thinking maybe 12, somewhere around 12 to get to the shelter. I'm not exactly sure what the name of the shelter. I didn't even bother to look it far out this morning. I was more thinking about, you know, my leg and making sure that was properly dressed and, um, you know, eating breakfast and stuff. So, yeah, so we're, we have a lot of elevation again today. I think that they are about the same, about 3,000 um, of elevation gain again. Yes, it was, it was a hard day on the leg. So um, I was first at camp, but I really was suffering when I got up there. Um, and this morning, um, it was beautiful. If you hear the birds, they are just, they are just going strong this morning. It's really nice. But um, there was a guy who started raining at 4.30 up by the fire tower. I guess he had set up a tent at his tramway. And he's just yelling everything. I made a meal, nobody would eat it. And then I pay for all the drugs and nobody pitches in. And he went on for hours. So we all got up and I think the one guy came from his family, they came running down and then he, I guess left him up there and then he stopped with the ranting. But I see all kinds out here. Um, yeah, so hopefully that resolves and they make up. But so yeah, um, I'm a little bit. Um, I took. A, I had to take a leave again this morning, and one Tylenol because for the pain. Um, because my leg really is hurting. This is the largest contusion I've ever had in my life. So it's radiating every footstep I take it radiates up in my shin the whole bottom of my leg is still swollen so yeah I'm hoping I can do 12 today on it yesterday I reached my limits on it I couldn't do any more than that 8.5 and again like we're doing now it's a lot of elevation I also kind of feel like somewhat my body is going backwards it's tired and instead of gaining trail legs I'm going backwards like I feel like I never did this before so it's all starting out again but so I'll check in later we will be reaching the 300 mile marker within a couple days so that'll uh, that'll be exciting okay Skittles and I are in search of the cookie lady who appears to be a half mile ahead. Okay, so we just got done at the cookie lady's house. And um, how fun was that? I couldn't have a cookie, so there was a couple, well, three section hikers that came up and they were, you know, and I said, well, actually I'd prefer to have a cup of coffee um, instead of a cookie anyway. And, and he says, well, I brew coffee, I brew great coffee. 
So I said, well, just joking with him. I said, can you brew me a cup now? And he's like, yeah. So he goes, he unpacks everything and um, brews me a cup of coffee. So it's really good. So that was a little trail magic, the unexpected. And um, yeah, so now we are climbing up to the shelter on a trail that was obviously designed by Satan um, because this is a horrible climb. Um, I'm dragging my leg up. It is very painful. The one guy was EMS and he said, he looked at it, he said, you need to go to the doctor. And I was like, yeah, but they're gonna tell me I'll have to rest. I can't continue the hike because I know this is gonna take a couple weeks of rest to fix, you know, to even get down the swelling. I've never seen anything like it. And he's like, well, that could be permanent. So we'll see. I am looking for at different gaps that I could do an out. I, I can't continue this. I mean, I'm really, really dragging this leg along. It's, it's hard and it's not gonna get any easier. You know, you think maybe you'll get a bit of a reprieve after the Smokies, you don't. It's just as hard. All of the AT was obviously designed by the devil. Um, so. <laughs> it's, it's tough, it's tough. Um, so, yeah, but that was a nice, we, we stopped for quite a while, you know, at least an hour, so it was nice. Oh, we'll be able to get up there, I got some caffeine in me, and um, get it done. Um, yeah, so, we're staying at Little Laurel, I believe, and tomorrow we'll hit that 300 mile mark early. So hopefully we'll have some energy to celebrate when we get there. Um, I'm excited about it. And um, yeah, so I guess maybe we're a couple miles away from the shelter. So I'll probably say goodnight now. And if anything comes up, of course, I'll videotape it. But um, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Did I mention that it feels like it's 90 degrees out and high humidity? I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> so which way is hell? <laughs> this way. <laughs> the way we're going, always. Yes, <laughs> hell is up. <laughs>